Okay, so the topic for today is how to prepare for your CXC exams in 2025. So we're going to start off with what's new. I almost said for just a while ago, but we're going to start off with what is new and then we're going to talk about how to actually um, prepare for your CXC exams in 2025. So what's new is that CXC has this... Um, it's a pre it's a pre um pre slip right so when your results come out usually or in the past they did these like preliminary slips right so this year starting 2024 as in this year um they're going to be given these pre slips which students can access online and basically there's a qr code thing that just scans we kind of verify if it's real or point is that it's more digital now so instead what they did is that at your school or the center or even institute wherever you do the CXE exam you would have to collect a preliminary slip now this is completely digital so when results come out you can look for your preliminary um results online and you have the qr code thing so basically what they're saying is that um it can reduce like wait time if you have a college or forget a job so you get access to the results much quicker than having to wait for the preliminary slip at the school like the paper one right so it's supposed to be faster that's that's the aim and that's the essence of what CXC was trying to do so it's like a free slip that you access online but moving along um how to prepare for your CXC exams in 2025 and the first thing that I'm going to say is ensure that you have material, ensure that you have information, right? Ensure that um, you actually have notes or something because if you don't have no notes, you don't have no material, you don't have no information, you not have nothing to go right on the people in the exam basically. So that's the main thing and that's the first thing ensure that you have notes ensure that you have material ensure that you have information right now back in my days back in what king philip when me that wait is like most of the information that i did have come from two places one the class so when the teacher teach and they give you notes you write the notes Two, my school did do a book rental system something so we could have made rent biology book chemistry book from the resource management um what else we did do to do what we used to do it book my rent the it book too um point is that my rent most of my book them if not all we never rent no foods book we did end up by a family resource management book we did end up by a cancer so biology but the bigger, like the bigger textbook, textbook, me get the chemistry one, me get me get the biology one. Um, me did, me think me get one for agri. Yeah, man, me have a big agri book for me to rent from my school too. So for most of my subject, then me, did, me could have rent book. So point is that ensures that you have information to go right for the people in the exam, and that would be the paper too. So ensure say. You got your class them, ensure so you write notes, ensure so you have a textbook. If your school have the book rental system, rent the book. Why you not going to rent the book when you can rent the book? If you rent the book and you still need more help or you still need more information, then you can go and go buy the book out of pocket. If you're really in a good term and realize you don't understand nothing, you enter all like grade 11 and the first term, run up, well, you're in the first term and you ask, all right, me do exam next year. I you know you never learn from grade 7. You know you never learn in a grade 8. You know you never learn in a grade 9. You know you did dunk slap but in a grade 10. I know you did 11. Ensure say you pay attention at this point. Ensure say you get a textbook. Ensure say you do everything. And also if it's really really needed and you realize you're really 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 just don't know nothing consider going to an um extra class like you have to go find the money from somewhere somehow and go an extra class because 
if you don't know nothing, I don't know where I write by the exam. Weird, alright, what I know is this the CXC syllabus is two years, right? So, them start in a grade 10 and them go and go in a grade 11. So, when they reach grade 11, them not going to necessarily go over things that they're doing in a grade 10. Then, probably, this will continue. So, if you really go through grade 10 and just completely no know nothing, SBA don't do nothing, no do. It's like you just did it. You just did sit down in the class and just did it. You don't know what one. Then, you need intervention. And if you find yourself an extra class, um, get SBA help. If you know you're the behind the SBA, then if you are the civil subject and you realize say no none of your SBA them not start. If you are the sciences and you know you're the behind the labs them, go talk to your teacher, like get some help before it's too late. That's that's the point. But consider the evening class, get the textbook, go your class them, get the notes them and ensure say yeah submit decent SBAs. Like you don't understand how an SBA can make the difference between a grade one and a grade two. So ensure you yeah, submit decent SBAs. If the teacher go through the SBA, tell you what to do, give the instructions, tell you go choose a topic, tell you go do whatever. And you still don't know what to do, then you need to consider coughing up some money or finding the money from somewhere. If you go get some SBA help one side or you're gonna need SBA help. If you really just not know if you do the SBA, even after them explain it to you down to the T and you still don't know if you do, you're gonna need to go get some help from somewhere else. But in essence, seek help before it gets really out of hand and I'm waiting until the month before the exam or two or three months before the exam and then you have an idiot and you run up and down like some little headless chicken or whatever you want to call it so seek help from early from early the next point is ensure that you utilize past papers so youtube is there csec past papers that come is there um if you know any other resource you can use them but ensure so you're using past papers ensure say uh Practice, practice the questions them on the paper one ensure so you know the answers them because they repeat a lot just ensure so you know how a past paper look because the paper we are going at the exam to sit is going to look very very similar to that it may not be the same questions for the paper two but at least you know how it's set up and at least you know what to kind of expect don't just go in there completely clueless i don't know what is taking place so it's not put yourself in that position so ensure say uh look at the past papers them so at least you know what you're going to do you know what i mean and as for paper one them repeat a lot so as it relates to that as long as you practice the questions them um, go through them and see what the answer you will be fine for the paper one no, another resource instead of like getting paper, past paper from your teacher or um from where from your teacher or maybe you just don't know the online or something, you can use YouTube because you have enough teachers. This is what I mean. Um, when we do foods, my YouTube channel name Theories Tutorials, right? And let me tell you, say. When you get to a point where we're tired for you go through my notes and everything, we did end up go up on our channel and realize say most of the things that we should have on our channel is like it can follow the syllabus and it can cover those things, you know what I mean? So utilize YouTube. This to me for more subjects. Right now most teachers them go up on YouTube and whatnot. So most of the subjects, especially maths and English, you gotta find help on YouTube. For biology, you have to find help on YouTube. Um, for some business subjects, you have to find help on YouTube. For something like agri, even agri past you have to find YouTube. What else? Um, IT, IT, the find IT help me find YouTube. Um, I think the teacher you make IT simple TT, and then you have the CXC biology tutor or your biology tutor, something like that. I think she changed her channel name or something, but is CXC Biology Tutor, she, you have um, CSET Mathematics, Curling, Springer, 
was about you point is that you have a lot of teachers who got through the materials them on youtube so you literally have no no excuse literally none so then the last the second to last advice is this ensure you actually study ensure you actually study for, people, for the people in the exam do not go in there and just wing it failure to prepare is preparing to fail that is where something go so at least do some preparations for the people in the exam and also overall just make a plan before it get out of hand before you get too close to the exam make a plan before you start losing your mind, make a plan. Before you get stressed out and your head start cheap, just make a plan from early. Just make a plan from early and decide what you're going to do, what you want out of this. If you don't want nothing, then fine, go sit down at the exam and go sleep. If you want something more that, then you have to go work hard, basically. But this is just my two cents as it relates to how to prepare for your CSE exams in 2025 right in 2025 so basically those who are doing it next year this is just my two cents on that there is also um a cxe playlist also a cxe playlist and a few like biology biology um videos like the nervous system and my thing soul division too yep so anyways pretty much there is help so just seek the help before it's too late and before it things get really out of hand and anyway this is just my two cents basically this is the end of this video and that's pretty much it for this so anyways bye